Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys, we're gonna talk about how to add tree view in our Java FX application. So first, I'm going to show you an example of a tree view. So we have here an example of a tree view where we can see the desktop, the nodes, user, public, compose, uh, computer, and then we also have nodes for network control panel and recycle bin so we're going to create an application that will showcase this particular example of a tree view another example is just like this you know when we try to navigate to our computer we can see all the nodes so for example the desktop downloads pictures and then of course the sub nodes for uh, you know a tree view so for example music has a node or inside node or a sub node which is the flash integral and we also have pictures with all the sub nodes available inside now let's try to do this and recreate this with our java effects application so all we have to do is go back to our um, netbeans ide and here you can see a basic application and i do have like three files the main.fxml file, the main.java, and of course, the main controller.java. Okay, and let's start by opening up our main.fxml file into our scene builder application. So we have here an anchor pane. So basically, you can use any layout that you want, but in this case, we're using the anchor pane. Okay, and all we have to do is search for the tree view here. Okay, and then this is the tree view element that we can drag and drop into our anchor pane. And then we can set the height for this. So for example, let's just resize this like this. And of course, guys, we need to add the FX ID for our tree view. So as for example, we'll uh, add it as tree view and then press enter and we can save this file and then save and let's go back to our netbeans ide and we now have the empty main controller for our main.fxml file so the first thing that we're going to do here is to add the uh, tree view element so we can do that by specifying the annotation fxml and then tree um, tree view and then this should have a type of string and then the name which is or the ID that we have added is tree view okay and then of course we we just have to import the fxml annotation and of course the tree view class okay and then after that we can you know uh, set the root node for our tree view in our example here we have the this PC as the uh, the root node for our tree view, so we can do that also with our tree view in JavaFX application. So all we have to do is specify the root node by saying tree item, and then it should have a string type, and this is the root node of our tree view. Equals new tree item and then um, greater than and less than or less than and greater than sign and then of course open and close parentheses and it should say so for example this pc okay and then of course we need to import three item class okay and basically this is the root node of our tree view okay and of course we need to add you know sub nodes for our tree view so in order for us to do that we can just copy and paste this three item and basically we can have like node a and then node b and of course node c and we can say here um my documents um my pictures pictures 
and then of course we can um, add my music okay and then of course we can add this to the root node of our tree view by using the uh, root object and then get children and then we can say add and then of course the name of or the object of the sub node so as a for example node a and we can do uh, the same for the other sub nodes b and c and now the last thing that we uh, we would add here is to actually add the or set the root into our tree view so in order for us to do that we need to use the tree view object here and then we can call the method set root and then of course the object root okay and then save this so basically we're just you know defining the root node and then defining the sub nodes a b and c which has the name my documents pictures music and then of course we need to add the nodes into our root node and then set the root into our tree view so we can uh, clean and build the application first or our project and then we can run it and see what happens to our uh, application so we have here the basic tree view and we have the node or the root node which is this pc and then the sub nodes which is um, my document and then pictures and then music okay so that's how easy it is to implement tree view in our javafx application now so for example we want to add another sub nodes for our my documents so we can do that also so we can like add three sub nodes or how many nodes that we want or we prefer so, so for example node one uh, a1 and then a2 and this is a3 okay and then we can set the name of this so for example um, work files and then personal files and then so for example backup okay so and then of course we can add the node or the sub node to the node a by just using uh, the node a object so previously we added the elements by using the add method we can but we can also add by using the add all method and we can use the node a for this and then get children and add node a1 node a2 and of course the other uh, node which is node a3 okay and then we can save our file and maybe clean and build our application and run our file again or I mean the, the project so we can see here that this PC root object or root node and then of course the sub nodes for our my documents so the work files personal files and backup files okay and now we can take this further again guys so for example you wanted you wanted to add you know icons to this um, nodes so for example you want to add um, image icon for this PC my documents work files personal files my pictures and music so the way to do that is by using the image view and we're going to set the icon for this nodes so let's go back to our application and the first thing that we're going to need is of course um, define the image but first let's add a new package here for our image so I, I'm just going to name it IMG and then of course I'm going to copy and paste my um, folder image that I've, um, I have prepared. So folder.png and then I'm just going to paste it here in our project and I'm going to use it here by specifying the image icon. So image and then icon equals new image. 
Okay? And then, of course, inside this particular constructor, we can say get class and then get resource as stream. And then, of course, we need to specify the directory and, of course, the image that we want or the icon that we want for our nodes. So, PNG folder and then PNG. And, of course, we need to import the image class like this. And, of course, inside our initialize method, we can um, specify the image view icon for our um, nodes. So, for example, um, inside this constructor, inside this, yeah, open and close parenthesis, and then we can say here, new image icon, and then, of course, specifying the icon object. Okay, and then we can uh, import uh, image icon, and um, we're getting an error here. Image icon, but this is should be image view. My bad, sorry. Image view, um, we need to import image view. Sorry about that. Instead of image icon, it should be image view. Okay? And then, of course, we can set for the other nodes, for my documents, for my pictures, my music, uh, work files, and then image view, personal files, and then of course for the backup files so save this and then clean and build our application once again and then run so there you go you can see the icons for our nodes this PC uh, my documents and of course for all the nodes or sub nodes available in our tree view okay so I think um, that's it guys for this particular tutorial and if you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer your, your queries or your questions regarding TreeView and other uh, matters regarding JavaFX. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.